most of the most of the pulling termination and control wiring uh, has been done. There's still a little left to be done. Doors were installed. No no work has been done on sludge storage building. They have for the most part excavated for the primary clarifier and are starting to work on some of the installations from the piping to that clarifier. And work also continues on tying the 10 inch EQ line in. And there's been a lot of general site electrical work and some work at the generator as well. Uh, we anticipate that the demolition of plant one should have begun in the next two weeks. <coughs> Excuse me. That may get delayed because we're one of the things Jeff would like to see done is that he's got some tie-ins, piping tie-ins so that he can waste a little better on the BLR. We may direct the contractor to do some of that work so that it helps Jeff in his operations so that we may delay that a week or two. But I think that occurred by next month's meeting. Uh, final, like I said earlier, change four was approved last month and I covered the issue with the startup. My upland elevated storage tank, just we had a new member here, I, I thought I left this on there. The project is complete, it's closed out. So that next month that'll come off. <coughs> on the upland water main extension, same thing, that project's complete, and that'll come off next month. Um, the work at the water plant, which is um, ongoing, Current to date, uh, we're about uh, $5,250,147. You see the total total project cost is at $5.5 million, so we're about complete there as well from a money standpoint. I do know that there is a change order of about $17,000 of being presented to the Water Board at their next meeting. Um, as far as the work progress there, Flat Rock and Upland, uh, for the most part, uh, all the work has been completed at uh, Flat Rock, and it is operational. They are working on some punch list items. At the Upland Reservoir, uh, they're working on punch list, and they still got to complete the SCADA, which is the instrumentation control um, process. Uh, GWTP, uh, that's the, ground, the new groundwater treatment plant. Uh, we still got uh, a little bit of painting to do on the floor items. The start of that plant is typically scheduled for tomorrow, right? Yes. So, hope oh, cross your fingers we don't have the same problems we had starting up the wastewater side, but I, I don't think we will. Uh, like I said, electrical is about 99% complete, and the high and C or the skate of work is about 90% complete. Um, at existing plants one and two, Electrical works about 99% complete. All the yard probably is complete. The chemical feed startup was to occur December 30th. I wrote this today. Did that? Did it, you start up the chemical feed of plants one and two? December 30th. That's what. That's what. No, not our new system. Okay. So that Sorry, got that's that probably probably got delayed. That'll probably occur sometime this week as well. Um, then the work of clarifier one. Is scheduled for this week. That's tentative that we get plant uh, plan number three online. We can't take plan one offline until we get plan three up and running. And most of the work will continue on punch list and instrumentation. For the most part, this work on this this side is down to just basically some electrical and INC work. Uh, ne next project, Flat Rock Water Main. Uh, again, this project, we're still trying to get a, obtain the easements. The water board at their last meeting did approve an alternate route for the raw water line on where one of the property owners is, uh, was not willing to grant an easement at the original route. Um, we still need, the city still needs to work on getting that easement on the alternative route. And uh, hopefully that uh, property owner is in agreement with this route because this is the one you proposed anyway, so, but um, kind of bring everybody up to date on this project again. This is kind of all the work is being done with the treatment plants and pump stations. Um, this is the last project that needs to tie all the, all the, the sites together, so with even with upgrades at the pump station and the new plants, 
without this line, your capacity is still limited to what you what you currently have because you need to upgrade the line in order to bring additional flow to Flat Rock. So hopefully we can get that get the easements and get that project out to bid here this spring. Um, Anderson Street um, sewer work is complete and the base coats for the roadways have been installed. Um, we're down the punch list items. There was one change order that was approved at the December 1st meeting, so I don't anticipate any work on that until the spring unless we have some problems. All, all blacktop is not finished. No, there's still a little black surface that needs to be installed but because of the weather. Um, if we do start getting some icing problems, we may have to have a contractor back to do um, either some temporary cold patching or something. How's that been? Where's the street? The street guy. Uh, he's hiding back here. Uh, we had any problems when we had any volume of water. Yeah. That ice is definitely general. Probably the worst place is going to be Mill Street. You got to cut on both sides and it's probably going to print some across the water there. We'll just keep an eye on yeah. it. If we have to, we'll uh, get the contractor back to try and address that if it becomes a problem. And then tomorrow we will try to be powering up the groundwater to treat the plant. Yeah. yeah. So once we get that up and running, then there's some work at the existing uh, treatment plants, clarifiers, that we, we can't do until the new groundwater plants up and running. To process water through that groundwater. Yeah, you'll be processing water through the groundwater. We've done some test runs. We just haven't done anything. Um, you know, we've, we've done several test startups and tests on it to make sure all the equipment is running. And, and then, and so, but we didn't want to put it in operation until we had all the controls in place so we could run it like it's supposed to be. So. But yeah, I, I anticipate that project. We should have everything about complete on the water side at the water plants. I would guess by March. I think there's still another two months. Now there may be some respiration that may drag out until, until we get warm weather, but I think everything should be complete by March. The contractors say in February, I'm saying it's more likely March. We've had Rick has had some communication with the property owners out there south of 74. Sounds like things are coming along. We just need to speak with the TM, write up some language, and get it to that guy. So it's all for sure. Probably ought to have a kind of a meeting, bring Tim up to speak, kind of make sure that we're all on the same page there. Probably be a good idea. What I'd like to have is some time with Tim where he can come over here and sit down with the department heads that has business. One question, Darren. The part two, that 21, the, I'm sorry, I'm on the board. Uh, is that the uh, configuration for the Honda? Which one? The uh, project two. Waste part two. That's the waste part two. Uh, yeah, the original, <coughs> the original bid price came in at 21 million. Um, we had budgeted 19.3. So what we did was we did value engineering and we basically cut out. They had that 21 included a new administrative building. Um, that was deleted so that the goal there was to get as much treatment plant capacity as possible for the dollar amount. So we took out the 